it's always nice when you're visiting somewhere to be able to go out and have a drive out in the, in the countryside. So this afternoon, I am going to look and visit Bathsheba, or as the Barbadians say, Bathsheba. Come along with me and let's see what we find on the road to Bathsheba. Well, we soon leave the sort of urban areas behind and start entering the country areas in Barbados. Although in Barbados, you're never far away, shall we say, from civilization. So, we're going along on our way to Bathsheba. One of the things about Barbados is throughout the country there are these beautiful of Anglican churches. So I thought I'd just stop and show you this one that's along the way. Unfortunately the church is closed so I can't show you inside. No oh boy, you can't miss the breadfruit trees. Everywhere you go in Barbados, there's that breadfruit tree. So this church, so this church is actually over 150 years, 150 years. Along the way, we're going through some cane fields because Barbados still grows sugar cane to produce that excellent rum that they have. Or oh, I should say rum because there's so many different types of rum here in Barbados. So part of the trip will take us through some cane fields. So we continue our drive, some open pasture land, and then oh, more sugar cane again. We're definitely in the heart of Barbados sugarcane country. It was a wet overcast morning, but it's turned into a nice, bright, sunny day. So, enjoying the drive. Even though I had to stop and um, double check that I was on the right road. But clearly, enjoying the drive. Well, after all the cane field drive, now encountering a little small village with a lot of the typical Barbadian chapel houses. And in the distance, there's a view of the sea. And top the hill. Oh. nice old church as we go past there. You know we're getting close because now I'm seeing more coconut trees. Huh. But I'm also seeing a lot of the breadfruit trees. One thing about Barbados always has a lot of breadfruit. One thing with this part of the drive Whereas before it's open land with cane fields, now we're coming through some of what I'll call forested areas in Barbados. Oh yes, and in the distance is the sea, always there beckoning. 
But this part of the drive takes us through some forested areas. Sir. So we've reached we reached Bashiba village. Um, but I haven't reached to the beaches yet. This part of the road is taking me um, through the village. Well, following it, still a nice day. that Barbados was very very flat. And this side of Barbados is hilly as you can clearly see. The south coast may be relatively flat but this side is definitely more, much more hilly. If you like the content, please share this video. I've pulled aside here to be able to give you a view of the coast. Apparently they've barred off this area, I'm not sure why. But we're gonna go down a little further down in a minute. One of the reasons why I wanted to come to Bathsheba, apart from that beautiful fresh salt air, are these large, what appear to be rock formations. But as I've learned, they're not actually rock formations, rather they're the remnants of a very ancient coral reef on this coast. Bathsheba is undoubtedly picturesque but it's not somewhere I would come to bathe. Um, you, you have to really know the sea here. Uh, there's a lot of undertow and currents but for surfers this is one of the prime locations in Barbados and this is called the Soup Bowl and they have many of their surfing championships here in Bathsheba. Several of the um, houses along here, as I've, I've learned over the years, are rental properties uh, that you can come and rent and spend a weekend or a week uh, staying here. I'm walking along because I also want to show you this picturesque little church. And then we'll take a go, go after the church we'll take a little walk on the beach. The 
really picturesque church pretty and pink as they say well let's go down on the beach one thing <laughs> heading down to the beach a very nice lawn I'm told that those who are very familiar with this beach come and they are, like that lady there, find a little tidal pool and they have rum punch parties while sitting and soaking in the tidal pools. As I said, I'm not that familiar with the area so I am, um, I left my bath suit at home. Let's walk along and I'll just a little bit more. If you like the content, please share this video. Beautiful. Although I did not come here to bathe, just the drive and then the scenery when you get here makes for an interesting change to any visit to Barbados. A bit later I'm going to go a little further up the road where I know there's uh, supposed to be a small park and that at least in the past, I'm not sure if it continues, at Easter time Many Barbadians would come and camp in that park for Easter. So I'm going to go up a little later and see. But I've spotted a, a little chair here under a coconut tree. I think I'm going to stop for a few minutes and just sit there and enjoy the scenery. Ah. Uh, this is just so relaxing, sitting here in the shade on this chair, under the trees and there's some birds chirping in the background and I'm watching and seeing the ocean, the coastline. This was definitely worth my coming today. Let me just get up and turn wrong and show you from there, sit in. Really, really relaxing and nice. So I'm going to sit here for a little bit and just enjoy the arm, enjoy the view. And then I'll take a walk down and see if I can find this little park 
where people camp at Easter time. Okay, let's just continue our walk along the village. Let me cross the road and go to the other side. Nice little cottages. Let's see what this one is called. Ah. Shepherdville One for short term rental. Wouldn't you like to spend a weekend here in this little cottage? Breathe in this fresh air. Let's go along and take a look at the other one. Okay, so this is several apartments, but you know apartments. Look nice for a weekend. This one is simply called Watshiba Beach House. And right across there is a small beachside bar and a little park. Okay, I'm going to go to my car, get my wallet, and come back here and have a beer. Well, I'm going to sit under the trees on, this, on these benches and relax and have a beer. I'm in Barbados, so of course, the beer I'm going to drink is a Bax. Let's see if we get that name. Yes, Bax. I hope you're enjoying my trip to Bathsheba or Bathsheba as they say. I hope you like what, what, what I'm showing you. You can always leave me a comment down below. Let me flip wrong and just show you one more time that view. Something. Ah. What am I doing here? Can't see how to flip around. Alright, I'll get it and I'll show you the view eventually. Ah, there's the view from this bench. Really nice. So, I'll sit here, sip my beer, enjoy the view, enjoy the nice fresh salt air. Relax for a while and then I'll get back in the car and head back. Nice Sunday afternoon. I'm glad I made the trip and I hope you are as well. Well, before I leave, one last look at this beautiful coastline. afternoon in Bathsheba. Really well spent the day. Relaxing, enjoyable and after the rains of this morning the sun came out. I hope you enjoyed my trip. Maybe one day you'll come here too. If you want to see more outdoor adventures in Barbados click on 
one of the videos that is appearing on your screen now.